Hey guys, welcome back to Wing Customs. Well, as you all can see, cab's on the chassis and it looks good. I'm super in love with this thing now, more than ever, and I've freed up a lot of space in the shed by having the two separate. Um, yeah, from here on out, there is a ton of work involved doing the floor pans, the firewall, the body mount to the chassis, all that ex Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Um, the rear end section. I've spent the last couple of weeks trying to figure out some stuff and ordering some stuff as well. I am putting a triangulated four-link system in the back, which is going to allow me to lower that thing as possibly as low as I can get it. Um, yeah, I also bought some airbags for the rear end, so that's going to be happening shortly. Not this video. This video, we're gonna be talking about a profiling hammer that I built um, in respects to Carl Fisher from Japan's Customs. Absolutely genius idea, saved me a ton of money. Looked around the shed and found absolutely everything I needed to build this thing. Um, I am still yet to do the dies for this thing, um, which is gonna be this video. And we're gonna shape some steel. Um, now I've got a few ideas and I'll show you guys the hammer first up. Okay, here it is, profiling hammer. We've been putting together in the last couple of weeks um, amongst doing the truck and putting the cab on the chassis and all that. Finding all the bits and pieces to go together for this thing um, is definitely gonna save me a lot of money if this thing works and there's a lot of body lines that I need to follow on that truck um, for it to be Mick and yeah, so far, let's talk about it. Today, we're gonna to be doing these top and bottom dies sections in here, shaping them and getting some shape into some steel. 13 mil thick plate um, off an engine stand I had. Um, two bolts holding the top one in and one for the bottom. Um, that is sitting on another plate that's welded in this tube. Um, so that's extra. The bolt is purely just to keep it in line with the top one. Um, and, but it will be hammering on to flat steel underneath. If you haven't figured it out already that I'm a fan of toe balls, um, yeah, this top plate is the midsection of a toe ball. You got the ball, the plate, um, the flange, sorry, then the bolt section. So I cut that off toe ball um, and welded it up here. Kind of made this thing a dual system setup. Um, so I can put some shape down the bottom section and if I get a little bit of warpage in there, I can come straight up to the top where it's hammering away at that and punish out those imperfections. Um, it's not quite all the way to the edge, so I can't get fully along the edge there, which I'm a little bit bummed about. I could have moved that back a little bit, but I didn't. Um, I was just excited, welded it in, and yeah, that's how it turned out. So, Let's get some shape into these bottom dies and see how this thing works. Um, if you are wondering, overall this is about 14, 14 inches tall. So it's not very big. Um, it is square as well, 14 inches tall, 14 inches wide-ish, about that. Uh, 50 by 50 tube, three mil thick, couple of bracings here for the corner, top corner section. Uh, that's about it. So yeah, let's get into shaping up these top and bottom dies. Um, then we're gonna run some steel through it and see how it turns out.
Okay, so I've done a little bit of tinkering around with this thing. I've chucked my camera on charge, so you've missed out a little bit. Not too much. Just me smashing this thing up. Um, first of all, undoing this a few times, uh, I did actually thread this eventually. I then uh, stripped it. So I've welded a nut on the outside, just tacked it on. Um, that's given me a little bit of uh, thread to work with to keep this here nice and strong. Figuring out why I didn't have enough hammer stroke because of that bottom die, I actually cut out rather than adding on to it. Um, so that lost the stroke in the hammer. Wasn't getting enough force down on that um, for it to actually press into the shape. That bit, bit of a bummer, but I figured it out. I just grabbed a new chisel piece. It was a new, new, um, a second hand one. I had laying in there, it was a bit long. I just chopped it straight off. That's given me um, the extra height that I cut off in the die section. Um, yeah. So, I've got two pieces of steel cut out, ready to go. These will be used as those bits. So I've only got one shot to do this. Um, I'm gonna wing it. I've gone with Carl's um, little guide as a reference. Um, that will be sliding along the front section. Um, and yeah, hopefully it comes out a nice straight line. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, that looks bloody good. I'm super happy with that. That's um, definitely something I can work with. It's a very nice bead. And yeah, I could definitely do some really nice floor pans with this um, sort of setup. Hopefully, I can figure out a die for that. Let's have a look at this on the car. What I am gonna do, and this is why I left this little lip here, this actually will be folded over. Um, and that'll be just a spot welded to the top piece, top lip, um, which I was gonna figure out a die for that specifically, um, that actually rolled that one over. Um, but first test, this has come out really good. I'm super happy with that. Um, I can't be more happier actually. Let's have a look at it on the car. <clears throat> All right, so that is the body line we're gonna be replacing. To be honest, that, that looks so good. Definitely gonna look really good along there. Um, and obviously I've got a lot of shaping to do up here, but as a starter, that is gonna look mint. If you are wondering what the next move is up here, 
Um, it will look very similar to what's going on already. Um, so yeah, tipping that edge all the way over, that'll be spot welded along the inside there, if you can imagine. Uh, putting that lip in there, spot welding it. Lifting it up, um, not necessarily in that order, but uh, I do want to come all the way to the edge. So this may be, um, I may leave some of the original piece there. Uh, most of this section here has been lead wiped, so that's a bit of a bummer, but that's getting cut out. But I will replace um, the bead that goes along there. Um, I do lo I love this, and I want to follow that down. What I'm planning on doing, I'll just grab a better pen. Might use a better paint pen. I do need to make another set of dies just purely for this. Um, hopefully it comes out all right. I do want, yeah, again, I'm following this line down, but we're gonna go, say if we start it there, Somewhat like that. And this section in here will be stepped down, um, yeah, to this height, pretty much. So we're gonna be, there's at least a five, 10 mil step, which I will need to make another set of dies up to follow around. And yeah, that's gonna be quite interesting, I think, um, especially on a curved piece and doing a curved pattern. Um, yeah. That's probably going to be tricky, but we'll get it done, I reckon. Should be good. All right, guys, well, I'm going to wrap it up. I appreciate you watching, and uh, please hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think. There's definitely endless um, body lines that you can create with those little dies. Just, yeah. I can't wait to get stuck into a few more dies. I definitely will be trying to make this step specifically for this panel specifically. Um, as you can see, I've drawn a line on there and that's where I want it to follow. I do want to create another bead on this panel itself. I'm going to get that other panel set up for the other side. That way, when it comes time to creating this little step die, I've got it ready. I've got both sides um, with the beads in it already. And uh, yeah, overall, that's turned out amazing. Appreciate it and I'll catch you all in the next one.